So, the Terraria Nurse NPC, what kind of house do we build for her? Now, this one stumped me a little bit. Obviously, I can't just build her a hospital. No, no, no. That would be way too obvious. So, I started thinking. The shimmered version of the nurse looks kind of like a cleric, and clerics are associated with places like churches and temples. So, what if I built a healing temple, like the Temple of Kinrith from Skyrim? But how would I want this healing temple to look? Well, if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you'll know that I'm a massive Fable nerd. I mean, the channel's even named after an area in Fable. So I thought, what if I made it look like the Temple of Avo from Fable? And then I started thinking again, what if the temple had a giant caduceus on it? Now, a caduceus is an ancient Greek symbol consisting of a winged rod that's entwined with two serpents. It's loosely associated with things like healing and medicine, although technically it's the rod of Asclepius that's more associated with these things. But the Caduceus looks better, so whatever. And then I remembered, there's actually a Caduceus on the health potions in Fable. And after admiring this health potion for a while, and wondering why other games didn't make health potions as pretty as this, I started thinking again. Instead of building the Temple of Avo as our healing temple, why don't I just transform this health potion into our healing temple? And since this build is going to be based on a health potion, and I've never really built anything like this before. I do what I usually do in situations like these. So I lay down some blocks that I think might work. And I'll try out different paints and different colours. Just to get a bit of an idea on the kind of materials that I will use on this build. It's me, Guppy the Gallant. And I'm interrupting this video to bring you today's piece of Terraria trivia. Did you know that sitting on a toilet increases your fishing power? Just sit your totty on that potty, and you'll see a fishing power increase of five points. You'll be catching that crystal serpent in no time. If you want to hear more Terraria trivia, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. So the Caduceus is going to be the biggest challenge of this build by far. Two serpents coiled around a winged staff is going to be tricky to recreate in Terraria, especially getting it compact enough to where it will fit in with the rest of the build. So here's a quick montage of me trying and failing to build one. And with a few finishing touches, the Caduceus is complete, wings and all. Strangely enough, I've used frozen slime blocks for the staff portion of this build. I really do like the texture on these, and I think I'm going to start using them a lot more in different builds. And with the Caduceus done, the rest of the build should be relatively simple. So I start by building up the outline. And since this temple is based on a Fable Health Potion, I've decided that the temple will consist primarily of glass to imitate the glass bottle of the potion. And we are interrupted by slime falling from the sky. I may have to give this event its own counter at some point. And I wasn't 100% happy with the shape, so I'm changing it up a little bit. The ruler is very handy in situations like this. Now, I only discovered the ruler way, way, way into my Terraria building journey. It's very useful for getting things symmetrical, so I would advise everyone give it a use if they've not already. And here I'm just trying out a few different designs for the exterior. Again, using primarily pink painted frozen slime blocks. Now, health potions are, of course, red. But I'm also taking a little bit of inspiration from the Elixir of Life potion from Fable. Just for that pink colour. It's not just the health potion that looks great in Fable. 
I think Fable has the best looking potions out of any game ever. I'll show you a few of them now. And tell me these aren't the hottest potions you've ever seen. So I tried out red stained glass walls, but I'm not really a massive fan about how it looks. So then I replaced them with deep red painted glass walls. And in an effort to make the temple look a little less plain, I tried out this glass technique where you actuate hammered glass blocks over glass walls to create this diamond pattern. Now, a lot of people use this for things like windows, but in my opinion, I think it takes away from the potion aesthetic I'm trying to create. So I am going to go ahead and get rid of that. And of course, another Blood Moon. I may make the Blood Moon Lottery from the Shiminator vid a permanent thing from now on. Just because of how many I get, it's crazy. And whilst this Blood Moon was going on, I placed some Ruby Gem Spark walls behind the columns of the temple. And it's created this very nice red glow effect. And I think I'm definitely going to utilize this a little bit more in the rest of the build. The red glow really enhances the health potion vibe I'm trying to create and it gives the place a lot more atmosphere as well. And you can see here that we still get the red glow effect even in daytime provided that it's early enough or late enough which is fantastic because I really do love this effect. And blood moon number three. And of course, whilst I was waiting out the Blood Moon down here with the Clothier, I get a Solar Eclipse right afterwards. And now I'm just building up the base of the temple, and this is how we're going to be able to enter. So I do this little trick with quite a lot of my builds, where I will have the entrance in the middle, and then I'll have steps leading up to it from a base made up of walls or actuated blocks, or maybe I'll have the, the house on stilts. And then I'll build up the interior in the entrance so that it creates the effect that you are looking at the interior through the large entryway as opposed to just looking into the build with your x-ray vision through the walls. And I've added a few more details to the temple with some hammered glass platforms. And then I tried making a start on the interior but I wasn't really getting it anywhere with it. So I've decided instead to start building up the backdrop instead. Now this is a thing I would advise you do on your own builds. When you are trying to build something, but you find out that you're not really getting anywhere with it and it's not really, you can't really create it to your liking, just go and work on a different part of the build and usually it will come to you whilst you're doing that. So for the backdrop of this build, I am using my pine tree design to build up a small copse, if you will. And for those who don't know what a copse is, it's just a group of trees. So my YouTube name is just the hidden group of trees. And the Temple of Avo from Fable sits in a really atmospheric pine tree forest called Witchwood. And I want to recreate the same kind of atmosphere and ambience with this build. And I also want something for the temple to contrast quite heavily with. And that's what the pine tree is there for. It's the same thing within Fable in Witchwood. The Temple of Avo really stands out against the trees because it's so colourful as opposed to the dark, gloomy surroundings. I really want to create that effect here. And I'm just about finished with the pine tree cops and I'm just going to remove all the actuators and next I'm going to add in some greenery to the base of the temple to make it look like it's been overcome with nature and the way I'm going to achieve that is by adding in some actuated leaves and a few plants and painted mushrooms as well and so I've just about finished up the interior now. I'm just going to add in the final touch, which is this heart lantern. So I absolutely had to have a heart lantern in here. 
because this is the nurse's home, I wanted to put quite a lot of things here that are associated with healing, and it also helps that the Heart Lantern shares the same kind of colour scheme as a health potion. So the reason I was originally struggling with the interior of this build is because I was trying to match the aesthetic of the temple exterior with the interior by using things like glass platforms for shelves, and it just didn't look right. So instead, I decided to contrast the interior with the exterior by using wooden furniture, like wooden shelves that are filled with health potions, and a burial wood table. Now, this table and its curvy design is very reminiscent of the tables and furniture in Fable, and I think it looks a lot better this way. Now, I did keep in one piece of glass furniture, which is that bed, just because the white colour of it makes it look more medical, so I thought it suited the nurse a little bit better. And the shimmered nurse has arrived. And here is a full look at the completed build. Complete with atmospheric rain and gloomy weather. Just like Witchwood in Fable. And I got this right after I finished the build by pure luck. So that's nice for a change. So I really enjoyed working on this build. I love how much it stands out against the trees. I love how unique it is. And if you made it this far all the way to the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. Please consider checking out some of the other builds on the channel. And apart from that, have a wonderful day.